aka YouTube. Today I'm just doing a bit of a, uh, a review or a comparison between Linux Mint Debian Edition 4 on the left and also Linux Mint Debian Edition 5 on the right which has just come out really recently. Now this will be a really uh, quick unscripted video because of stuff going on at the home front. But um, starting off we have the, uh, okay so Linux Mint DE, uh, LMDE4 so it is actually running on uh, the, the Buster version of Debian there, whereas Linux Mint Debian Edition 5, LMDE5, in other words, is running on the latest release, so the bullseye variant, which means there are a few differences. What they wanted to do with uh, this was actually to update the, the interface a little bit, so it is the latest and greatest version of the Cinnamon desktop, as uh, you can see here, uh, at a glance, so it does actually look pretty similar there, but we do have the, the version in here, so the version 5.0.x versus 5.0. 2.x there, so a little bit of an update there on the visual front there. Uh, if we were to say have a bit of a look at the the file managers and see what's going down here, uh, we see what we've got the the Nemo file manager there. So it's really quite common or the de facto standard for any uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon desktop. So I should probably men mention that as well. This is all the Lin uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon desktop. Fun fact to note: Cinnamon, the the desktop environment that we can see here, is actually uh, it's actually built in-house by Linux Mint, the Linux Mint crew. So yeah, that's uh, where Cinnamon comes from. These guys very much here. Now, LMDE4 and LMDE5, of course, the Linux Mint Debian Edition version. Uh, now, it, Linux Mint is actually usually uh, based off Ubuntu, long-term service releases, that sort of thing there. But uh, there is this other variant here that a lot of people don't actually know about. And the reason why this exists is because uh, Debian is, is said to be quite a lot more stable in comparison. So a lot more stable, although the downside to that sometimes is you're working with older packages, older kernels, all sorts of things, which means uh, it's not necessarily designed for the latest and greatest hardware. But hey, if you're just uh, you know needing to web browse, check your emails, certainly perfect for you. Uh, now let's see what else we've got. So uh, let's have a look at the, uh, actually let's jump back to the kernel. So the kernel for LMDE4, it's actually running on the 4.19 kernel, which is quite old really these days. Whereas we've got uh, the uh, the newer one is running on the 5.10 kernel, not 1.0, but 5.10. So a lot later in comparison, which is really good to see. So in comparison, you get this one here or this operating system to maybe uh, have a bit more support for all sorts of things, be it you know microcode, Wi-Fi cards, uh, graphics cards, uh, just just general motherboard hardware, fan, uh, even allowing the, the the fan speed to change. It's just better in general there, which is like what I like to see. Um, and uh, let's see, probably last last but not least, we'll have a bit of a look at the RAM usage or boot up. So I'll just I'll just uh, zoom into this a little bit for you guys. It's even hard for me to see there on a full high def uh, streaming. So here we go, uh, 650 megabytes of RAM on boot up for the older version and 690 megabytes of RAM on boot up for the new version. So 60, 70, 80, 90, roughly about 40 megabytes of difference. But uh, it probably is well worth it because you're getting a much later and greater kernel. So super crazy stable, but really recent kernel. Not the latest, we are on 5.15, 5.16, maybe 5.17 now for, for certain distributions of Linux. But uh, I would certainly, uh, for the uh, bit of a good trade-off in terms of the, the RAM here, extra 40 megabytes or so on boot up. So certainly wait it. And you've only got one extra task. Oh no, it just jumped up to three extra tasks as I did that. Just a few extra threads, maybe 30 or so. But yeah, again, maybe totally worth it. So thanks guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button. And I do hope to see all of you guys there in the, the next one.